My name is Dee Dee Croy, owner of MyFavoriteGroomer.com, based out of Fort Worth, Texas. I've devoted 20 years of my life grooming aggressive, senior, and disabled pets. If anyone can get the job done, it's me. Every pet deserves a groom, and I'm here to give them that opportunity. The first time we met, I did a toenail trim with a parent assist. She was not happy. But he trusted me to start her grooming with me. I'm not sure why some of these corgis, they're so mean. Recently, a friend of mine has a friend with a daughter and her friend's corgi bit her daughter's face, bit her cheek off. It makes you just wonder. And um, there was another scenario like that water and uh, conditioner because it's also very dry. You know, what is going on? Senior Flyger, one of my super fans and clients, she's purchased quite a bit of tools for her Shih Tzu. Her second new Shih Tzu because the first one was uh, attacked by a corgi. Let's go figure, I don't understand. But so they're pretty quick and swift in their biting and their reactions, so be careful. I'm doing an overall brush out with the bristle brush and I'm gonna come back through with my Zoom Groom and just kind of go back and forth here. And this is pre-bath, so we'll also finish off with the blow dry. She doesn't like something, she will bite me. So get your eye goggles and cover your eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Well, she is not gonna let me blow dry. No, heck no. Did you see what happened? Oh, heck no. If a dog doesn't want you to blow dry, it's okay. Tell the owner, you cannot blow dry. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, no blow dry. Hold on, hold on, we're just brushing. Just brushing, that's all. Work both of your arms here, switch off and on, or if you have two, use two. I think my second Zoom Groom is in the bathing area. Look at all that. Isn't that cool? MyFavoriteGroomer.com, support us by shopping with us, and let me do the Research first and using the tools and find out what works and then show it to you and then you can know it will work. Now with corgis, for me, I'm actually going to also ferminate. But I only see her like every couple months. So that's okay if you have a ferminator and you're doing it once a day, that's too much. I agree with the person who taught me that, another groomer. Ferminating is too much every day. But once a month is good. Once a month, really ferminating is, that's good, that's okay. And look at all that static. Let's get our water. Sorry, it's just water. So then it'll go straight to, it'll come right off. Okay. I should be wearing gloves. I wasn't thinking. This is not hair cutting, but there's hair everywhere. This hair can still give you splinters, so be careful. 
not to get splinters. Taking those suckers out on your fingertips is very painful. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to just put my gloves on here because there is some hair cutting I need to do on her pads. So now let's go ahead and shave her pads. I got my bravura here. They're really long, aren't they? You can use your bravura for a 40 blade. Stop fighting me. Stop fighting. She doesn't like her nails done, but we're not even there yet. We're not doing the nails just yet. So we don't want her to argue now. All right, we do need her to stand up. She's pretty short. I'm going to grab my mini. Look at that. My dog got mini here. Get your eight and a half. No, no, I mean like, not no, but hold on, hold on. And trim all this. We're gonna come do something, something with her Heidi, but I'll do that last. So here it's important why, why I always will reach out to you and say, did you measure before you order? Because you can't go just go by the breed. And she wants to step off of it because I only see her like every couple months. So I'm just working with it. And I don't expect miracles, but now we'll come in with our guard. Let's take our guard here. Let's take, say, a two guard. She really wants to tell me what to do here, right? So she's not wanting this. Let's see if she can fit the small size. Because I really needed her to stand up. There, the small fits. And she doesn't want to cooperate. That's okay. Just move, move. Don't try to stay here too long. We're taking our two guard and this two guard and coming down, creating some a little hips here. I'm going to do her shave underneath the sanitary here. Her hair also, I'm glad I put these gloves on, her hair is like a husky hair, right? If you shave it, it's going to be like needles, so I really did need to have my gloves on. Alright, wear your gloves to not get splinters, okay? So now, she doesn't like her nails trimmed. That's okay. We're going to see if the dog up stand helps me. There's not a lot to trim because I can see where the vein's at, but it may be a little bit that you need to go ahead and still get. Go ahead and try to get it. Making the noise will kind of sometimes will work. Getting her attention and focus on something else like my sound instead of what I'm trying to do. We don't need it for the front. You see? We don't need you to jerk while I'm in here in this position. It's not a good thing. I know, I know. I'm trying to hurry up for you. Easier, faster, and we do sanitary now. Come here, come here, sweetie. Come here. Stop fighting. We're done with the nails. Hey, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. 
we're done with the nails, okay? Up. You don't want to go up. Okay. Up here. Up here. Here. I like to clear all that out under there because it's hot here in Texas. Even in the winter time, it still gets hot. It's so random. I'm using my two speed. You can get them at myfavoritegroomer.com. I'm going reverse because the hair is easier to trim because she's not cooperating. Stop. Stop. You're all right. Let me see. There you go. If you want to go up, that's fine, but that's, I don't know about that. Hold on. Okay, we can go to the bath. When a dog hates their face wash, you can, the way I do it anyways, I sell these nozzles and then I also have made in Florida by Betty, these nozzle covers, right? So this is one way to soften the water coming through to just approach the face without having the full blast. Like that, okay? Another way to work with an animal who doesn't want their face washed is to just wash it with a towel. So we've got a clean towel here, uh, just a hand towel. We're gonna go like this, get it wet. We're gonna put some shampoo in there. I'm gonna dilute it down with some water and I'm just going to come back and wash the face here like this, okay? Nothing excessive, but it's not skipped. We don't skip it, okay? Okay, so then come back through. Now you're gonna have to do it a couple times with just the water alone after you rinse the towel. Rinse the towel, or you can choose another towel with no soap on it. But the more you do, the more laundry you're gonna have to do. Okay, so now we're gonna wa wash, wipe. And if you leave a little bit like water in the towel, then it can actually help rinse the face towel. You know? Cause then you can come back and always see how that amortimat squeezing it and working it through, right? And then you're gonna rinse the body one last time anyway. It beats the argument that the dog's having with the shower, okay? With this whole thing, this whole thing like this. Well, she's doing okay, right? Right, okay, but, but there's an argument. I'm just not trying to show you the argument. 
Okay, we'll rinse that. And then rinse the whole body again before your final. Okay, she doesn't like it. I don't want to push it and She was already upset, so I don't want to do that. I know she doesn't like it. dry her now. Let's get her up to our level here. So you're not hurting your back. Ready. Come up. Up, 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 up. The more you get off, the less you have to dry. So try to get soak up what you can with the towel. And if you're really having to do the laundry at home, try to use one towel, not two or three, or even the time to go take to do the laundry. You know, just try to do one dog, one towel per dog if you can. You can also squeegee with your hands, just kind of squeeze the water off. You shake, you're shaking with your hands first. Okay. I'm going to turn you around. The hair is very thick like a husky, so you want to soak in that water. Soak it in. Believe it or not, she will bite me. If she doesn't like something, she will bite me. So get your eye goggles and cover your eyes. not gonna let me blow dry no heck no did you see what happened oh heck no if a dog doesn't want you to blow dry it's okay tell the owner you cannot blow dry oh. 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 okay no blow dry i thought i would try it just for you guys but i'm gonna let you know right now that is a warning don't blow dry don't blow dry okay come on here here come on I can pick you up now, okay? No blow dry. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. Let's go. No blow drying for you. So some folks wonder why I choose not to blow dry. There's your perfect answer. Why would you piss the dog off even more? It's already tough for them, you know? Haircuts for dogs is not the same as haircuts for humans. Except for children. Children have a really tough time with haircuts. Are you okay? I wasn't going to do it for sure. I just was going to see if you would let me. And now I know you won't let me, period. Okay, no worries. No blow dry for you. Okay, no blow dry for you, girl. Now we're going to brush everything out one more time. Okay, one more time, honey. That's why you towel dry really good. Towel dry really good. Okay, towel dry really good. And done, done deal. Done deal, yo.
One little squirt of some cologne. Okay, and then we are finished. Now you. My doodle has no idea why I have this headset on. So let's see her reaction. Do you not recognize me? Anytime I do something different, I have got to get permission from my female doodle. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest?